What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 14 QPR career mode. So guys, let's get into it. If you haven't, I mean seriously guys, if you haven't gone and watched the last episode, I highly recommend you go and do it. I guess you wouldn't probably know if you haven't seen the last episode because most of the, the players won't be coming till next, well all the players won't be coming till next season. So, a very, very interesting thing happened. We managed to sell... Tarat to Barcelona for 60 million. He is worth 18 million, and uh, the first offer was 40 million. I did do a counter, and they did get, um, I did get 60 million. Obviously, some of it does go to the board, but um, that transfer went through, and that freed up so many funds. Now, I had a couple of options. I probably could have signed I had like 50 million. We probably could have signed Robert Lewandowski, Marco Royce, um, Suarez, but I thought. We need to get more players in. And I thought the best way to do that is free agents. And we managed to sign nine free... Oh, sorry, not free agents. Um, players with um, six months remaining on their contract. And uh, well, they essentially will be free agents until they come with us. But we not managed to sign nine fucking players. And I'm going to say their names. We may, well, I'm just going to say first. So we managed to sign three centre-backs, one left mid, one striker, one right back, one left winger, one send defensive mid and one cam, which is perfect except for a goalkeeper we didn't manage to get. But I'm sure we can put that money to next season. So the first player that's going to be joining us next year is Daniel Agger. He's currently an 81 overall, 29 years of age. He might go down in stats, but I'm sure for free he'll be fine. We've got this guy called Eric Chupoting. I think that's how you say I'm just going to call him Eric or Potting. <laughs> He's a left mid. He's 24 years of age. Um, the next player is Gomez. He's a striker. Um, also, Kabul uh, plays for uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Bakary Sanya, 80 overall, 30 years of age. We, and mind you guys, we're getting all these players for free. Mas Accio, centre back, 23 years of age. We've got Menes, 79 overall, 26 years of age. We've got Sebastian Rode, who I'm really, really excited for, 23 years of age. And, of course, the man himself, Diego, 83 overall, 28 years of age. And he's a cam and he's worth 15 million. So that's basically what Tarat's really worth, to be quite honest. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I thought Diouf was in there. So maybe we're signing 10 players, 10 fucking players. But in today's episode, guys, obviously we did have the match against Reading just then. And we do have one against Leeds. Now, also, with all that negotiation going on in the last episode, we did actually have a fantastic match. We had an awesome match against Millwall, winning 5-1, but uh, like I said, guys, you're either going to like it or you're going to hate that. Um, I, I don't know. I had a couple of options. Like I said, I could have signed a big player. probably could have signed a lot more youth, but I think doing those, getting that amount of contract is really going to benefit our next season. Like I said, it could quite possibly put um, our champions title contention in jeopardy in our FA Cup for this season, but we really are second, setting up next season because if we can have that much squad depth, we would do well to not get relegated. I don't think we'll get relegated, which we're trying to prevent. That's probably the main goal for next year. But I think we can get European football. With the way we're playing in the championship, winning 5-0 over teams like Millwall, I think we really should be in the Premier League. And if we can hold on to Remy, Danny Welbeck, and up front, and we've got Diouf and Gomez on the bench that can come on, and Diego and Sebastian uh, creating some good opportunities for us, I think... I think would do well, but um, it's going to be very interesting to see how we go. We could, I don't, I don't know where we're going to finish in the next season. I don't even know if I am going to do season two. We'll just have to see. But to say the least, we have set it up, and I can't wait to do so. Remy there with a shocking piece of skill managed to get it back. Maybe the goalkeeper didn't really know what he was doing there. I don't think I knew what I was doing. I thought it was a shocking piece of skill, but no, nevertheless, the cut back in and nice little like skip over the ball. He managed to get back onto his right and managed to score. And Remy is definitely going to be the top goal scorer of the championship. I did think, I did say from the start it was going to be Remy. I thought he was going to have a fantastic season. And uh, once again, I've been feeling real bad. I feel bad for Newcastle. <laughs> they really had a fantastic striker. And it would be interesting to see how their season has ended up without Remy. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Tarat wouldn't be able to get the golden boot. But I'm, I wish him the best at Barcelona. I think he's going to fit in well there. But I don't know. I'm actually not too sure how much game time he's going to get. It's going to be interesting. But we can always try signing back, guys. So that's always a thing as well. But we're currently winning 2-1 over Leeds. We are dominating them quite uh, significantly. 
But like I said, it's going to be very hard for us for the remaining without Tarant because we are playing Kranja. But that's we only lost one player. We've we've lost player and signed nine. If anyone said that to me, if you would like nine players next season, nine world class players, um, some young, some old, who've played in the Premier League and around the world, I, I'll definitely say yes to that. But um, let's stop talking about it. Um, it's really not going to go into effect next year. I was basically, just basically recapping what's uh, happened in the last episode so we are doing some uh <laughs> the triple threat here trying to mix around because a lot of my players were knackered so i did bring on ben and ben and you i think it's that guy's been all over the place i swear he's played for so many different cubs not as much as um oh my god what was that chelsea striker's name anelka he's played all over the gaff but um marco oh, fuck, I, I really am gonna sell him this season i really don't like him like look at this touch and uh, by the time he hit the shot, the defender already put it wide. So he's very sluggish. Maybe if, if he was... Because um, I heard a lot of uh, reviews about him. I've heard a lot of you guys say to get him. But maybe I'm in the two... Maybe I'm in the championship. Maybe I'm in the two high league from really where he's recommended. He probably would do well in the league one or league two. But I don't know. I just feel like... Unless I start with him, I have started with him quite a few times, and he just feels real sluggish. And in the 75th minute, you want someone fast, you want someone quick, which we do kind of have in Austin, but um, he's, yeah, I don't know. We, we did end up putting up on loan, so we did put him to Aston Villa uh, on loan. But we did end up winning 3-0, uh, Junior Hoylet picking up two goals, and Danny Warbeck picking up one, Hoylet picking up man of the match. But guys, thank you very much for watching all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on this video to support my channel. And I've got more career mode coming out shortly, and I can't wait to bring it to you. So, guys, thank you very much. Goodbye.